Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. We're playing Park Life. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what I've done is I've flattened out in between episodes. I've flattened out this uh, this piece of land over here. Try to <coughs> <coughs> excuse me so much. Um, um, okay, I've tried to flatten it out and make it look fairly natural. And the reason I did that is for the airport. I've decided we need to put an airport close to the CBD and well connected to these uh, these highway connections we have over here. So that <coughs> is what we will do. I don't know what's going on with myself with me at the moment. Um, uh, frog in my th throat but I think that's uh, resolved now okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it something like this angle over here so that we get fairly natural uh, so I don't want to do it like that uh, I don't want to have the planes take off straight into this hill over here I'd rather angle it so that they take off into that kind of gap over there between the hills I know it's not perfect but it's pretty good I'm not going to move it a little bit further away from that. That should be pretty good. So I'm going to place it right there. That looks pretty good. I actually like this approach a little bit higher uh, above the highway network right there. Okay, so how do we have this? We've got this um, this road here. And what I'm going to do, first things first, I'm going to use this touch, touch this tool, right? Touch this, yeah. And I'm going to take this and that and that and that I believe that'll work out of there and what I'm gonna do is make this a one-way arrangement so let me grab the one-way road and potentially I should even make it something like this a three lane let's let's see if that kinda works yeah pretty good I actually like it the three lane like that is pretty good uh, <clears throat> though, what I'm just thinking about, if we do, can we do some kind of setup? Ooh, that is cool. I wanted to use more of that. Um, can we use some kind of road setup that will actually give me some parking? Uh, not sure if that's the case. Anyway, let's just do the three lanes. Uh, we may be able to play with the lanes a little bit in the in the. There we go. So that's that's our one way one way setup. So that's an feels like a real airport right there, with that setup the way it is. So what I'll do is I'm going to use this traffic manager app uh, or tra app uh, mod, traffic manager president edition, and what I want to do is I want to actually place some. Uh, let's have a look. If I do parking, can we actually have a look at parking on this? This one shows parking. Does those ah oh, those roads don't do parking whatsoever? So I'm kind of tempted to then throw it back to um, to throw it back to something like the the lanes with parking. Where can we find some some roads with some parking on it? I've got so much of this stuff that I'm sure we should be able to get some parking. Contemporary shared street with parking on both sides. Yeah, not quite what what we have in mind. We need something that's in a one-way arrangement, and hopefully, ooh, a one-way arrangement, two-lane, one-way road with tram tracks. That is what I'm after. That is what I'm after. So because that means we can have, <coughs> actually, but to be honest, maybe a tram track here is not the best idea anyway. So shall we do? Yeah, well, let's just try. If we do this, okay. So it's just a two-lane, one-way setup. And if I go to traffic manager and we do parking, so now parking is actually allowed. So now what we'll see is we'll see some parking take place over there. Do we have some vehicle, any vehicle restrictions or speed restrictions? That's 40. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to make it a little slower on this piece look at that something in there as it goes very fast um, <clears throat> okay and is there any other restrictions time traffic lights no any of this what is this oh no don't clear traffic thank you so much what is this enable despawning and these and these and these okay that's fine 
So, <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do. Now what I want to do is actually provide direct ramps in here. And potentially back in the opposite direction. <clears throat> so the key here for me is that we're going to take the highway from here. Two lanes. We're going to give it a little bit of a extension right there. <clears throat> One lane is going to join this direction over here. The other one is going to go over the top and probably have to tie in somewhere over there. <clears throat> so, over here, what we want to do is want to get this up at around 12, I would imagine, is the right height. Oh, we've got... Um, anyway, 12 is about the right height, so if we can come straight over the top at 12 over here... Let's start with the straight section like that and we'll tweak it as required. Um, <clears throat> so, basically what we need to do is we need to tie these together like so. And that is pretty natural, uh, apart from the curves, but the, the, the heights are pretty good. Okay, now this one, on the other hand, we're going to take it from here and then we are going to tweak it down down here actually even that works pretty well and we will tie it in there <coughs> so you can actually get back into that direction <coughs> okay and uh, this one I'm kind of tempted to just tie it in on this side here so let's do let's do something like that Okay, and so let's do 10 this way <coughs> and drop it down by 6 and then we'll do 10 this way that's not quite working okay so let's try and tweak it a little bit move it grab it here turn it around there give it a bit of a tilt in that direction like so we can move that a little bit just to get that straightened up a little bit like so and we can even give it a little bit of a twist should we need to just so this is a little bit nat more natural there we go so something something like that we'll see about how we work out that side and then we tie this back in over here uh, yeah, something like that should do the trick. And we'll see about tying, uh, cleaning that up a little bit. So that's that's effectively stage one here. Our first access point. And that's pretty good. Uh, like so. I think that looks quite natural, to be honest. Um, <coughs> now, on the other hand, we want to provide some accessibility from this direction. And I'm tempted to take one. Ooh, that's just one lane altogether. And it's already going uphill over there. So, what I'm tempted to do is actually take one off of here. Yeah, take one off of here and one off of there and tie them together. Yeah, that's going to work. Um, this, okay, so if I do say something like like that we can clean that up a little bit more and what I'll do is I will do uh, that's not quite what I had in mind that looks a little bit weird <coughs> uh, just excuse me I'm just gonna have a sip of water quickly <coughs> okay sorry about that uh, okay now that should be better now Let's see, how am I going to tie this thing off of here? Let's just get the actual road level. That's that's all I want, is the actual road level. Okay, so if we 
die something off of there. It's still giving me this this grief. Okay, so hang on. So what I want to do is I want to tie it off of there. Actually, I want to get it up to zero. Tie it up to there and bring it up to zero yet again. So something like that. I think that's more the kind of speed that I'm going at. Then this one needs to kind of tweak around into this direction. And now we'll tie the two lanes together. Um, so what we'll do is I'm going to run this thing straight. <coughs> for at least a little while like this. And let's uh, turn it around. Yeah, over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one. Uh, actually, I think we probably need to come on, grab the mover tool a little bit, bring it a little bit over here. That one over there. This one, what we'll do is we'll tweak it to turn it a little bit. Like so. Yeah, that's that's going to be it, and we'll just tie it in from there. Give me, give, give me a straight line like that, uh, up to around here. Turn it around, and I'm going to use mover just a tad to just get it to, to line up with this a little better. Yeah, something like that's okay. So let's uh, grab these single lane roads here. Let's tie. Oops, it's come on. Let's tie that together over there and that together over there, and then we just need to tweak it a little bit so that it's so that it's sensible. <coughs> Does that work? Uh, we may have to. Pull that out a little bit this direction. Just so that we get a little bit more natural in this. Um, in this curvature over here. Okay, but I think that's kind of going to be okay for now. So let's stick with that. So now they've got some accessibility to our new airport facility over here. Um, apart from the fact that we're not actually providing access from this direction to the airport unless we do what? Unless we provide some sort of connectivity in a kind of U-turn environment over here. Can we do something like that? We can, certainly can. Let's see about doing something like that. Well, we'll need to drop that down. Yeah, that's actually pretty good, apart from what is going on over here so let's just see about tweaking that a little yeah how is that since it's all in the one direction it's not too bad Ooh, that piece there I'm gonna have to drop down a little bit just so that yeah that's much better that's much better okay so now you can actually make the turn um, let's try and get it a little bit a little bit smoother though so something like that huh now you can actually get off and go to that direction let's try and tweak this a little bit more as well so I'm kind of thinking that needs to be a little bit more what's going on over here we yeah there we go that is looking better. Um, I want to just do a little bit of work 
right here. Uh, something like that. Okay. So now we've got accessibility to the airport in a pretty standardized way. We most certainly want to have a nice big train station right here somewhere that we can provide access to and I definitely want to get some pedestrian uh, let's just get the the train station in first so let's see about train and I'm kind of thinking if we've got do we have a nice train station that actually includes um, <coughs> that actually includes a, 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 a metro just for the future that's a freight terminal No, that's freight. That's not what I'm what I'm after, really. Um, anything that includes freight, uh, I mean a metro. I don't think so. So we'll just have to do them separately then. So what kind of a setup are we looking for over here? Probably something. Not the bridge version. The city station, maybe. Ah, I think that that does in fact have the metro line yeah the, so the city station is the one we're after uh, I'm not gonna do that of course so what we need to do is we need to get some form of a road somewhere over here so let's quickly see let's grab a bit of a road somewhere um, and just get that to the ground level and just get the straight in there so something like that is pretty close uh, it can't be too close though. I'm just thinking about this now. It can't be too close because we need to actually get the get this the get the curve of the, the rail station in there. And let's actually let's get this to be a little bit more more perfect. So what I'm keen on doing is moving it out all the way there and moving it there. And then what we'll do is we'll run it. So see, if we do something like that, let's have a quick look at that train station. So if we now add this train station over here, it feels like it's very far. But of course, we need to be uh, mindful that these so these rail lines can't really curve a lot. So if we do something like this, okay, that's like a city station over there. Um, question that I have is can that actually tie in together on the other side um, <clears throat> so that's a pretty good angle so what I want to do is grab get rid of these two yeah that's that's pretty good um, is that a train station down there or is it actually a metro line let's quickly grab does the description say anything about it? No, it doesn't. In fact, it does not. So if we go Metro, okay, and we say, what do we say? Can we go underground? Let's, ooh, let's just go Metro line. It's not actually going underground, is it? It does indeed. It's indeed a metro line. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I thought it's going to be. So that's good. So now we've actually got a metro connection here for the future. Should we need it? Um, and now let's quickly get our rail connection. My goodness. Give me my uh, train, my rail connection here, please. Thank you. And get rid of that. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that... What is that? I have no idea what that is. Is that a metro station that are right in there? If that's the case... So, hang on, hang on. Let's go for metro. It includes a metro station. Okay, well then I'm not going to go with this station. Then this station is, is, is overkill. So let's get rid of that station. Let's look at a different station for there. I didn't even know it had a metro station in there, but I'm very glad it does. Um, it makes a lot of sense to have a metro station in there. So now I just want uh, something, something fairly s roadside standard. But it needs to look pretty fancy. 
So something like this potentially. So if we do something like that, for instance, as the railway station next to the next to the tip next to the airport, I'm hoping that we can actually get the rails in there. A fairly decent rail setup over there. So let's um, grab this. So what I'm going to want to do. So where is the train at the moment? So we need to look at where we tie off of this. And I'm kind of tempted to actually run it all the way outside of there. Uh, in which case it will want to come straight through here. Not a good idea. Definitely not a good idea. Um, alternatively, we'll just run it around here and tie it off of there. I think that is almost best. But then what we don't have is we don't have a city connection. But that's okay. We, this can be the connection to that side and then we will can have a metro connection into the CBD. I think that's pretty good. So uh, let's do what we can over here. So just turn off the snapping. So what I want us to do is actually run it. Okay, turn snapping back on. So I run it at a decent oh my goodness that's crazy just give me a piece of road and get that off of there ah oh, yes of course it's not snapping because so what I wanted to do is something like that and then grab me the rail and we'll just run it straight something like that okay so if we do if we do that setup I'm not sure this is gonna actually work that feels a little tight to me but can could possibly work could possibly work and then the question is the, the I think the rail needs to go on the ground so we'll have to bridge something over the top of this so we'll probably need to bridge this little section over here. So let's... What are we bridging? Are we bridging these or are we bridging over here? Let's bridge a section over here. Uh, okay, so now... Is that okay? Um, so now the question is, can we actually get over? This one doesn't have to be that high though. So let's quickly see. Let me give me give me the road back. And are we going with the highway connection? Or are we just going with... Yeah, let's just do the highway connection. Be consistent. Um, so this one just needs to be about 6, I believe. Maybe 9. Yeah, probably 9. So how does that work? Oh, we don't actually have a pillar there. That's fine. We can probably put the pillar back. So we'll do about that. And we will do about that. And let's have a look. That's pretty decent. Um, so all I need to do is let's move that out a little bit. We'll tweak it a little over here. And a little over there, and a little like that. Oh, and there it goes. It's back in there. Uh, though, it does look a little low to me. Okay, can we... Can we move that? We can certainly move that out a little bit. We'll move, stretch that a little bit to that direction. And there we go. So now we're over the top there. Uh, not quite not quite very good. But they, there you go. So there's the connection over there. Um, we'll end it like that for now. Um, let's quickly finish off the rail connection over here. So what I want to do is I want to do the split 
from here somewhere. So let's grab the rail. Yeah, this doesn't have to be, because we're not going to get it to turn, go in that direction too. Well, actually, maybe what we, mm, maybe what we need to do is actually bring it in from this direction somehow. It's just, it's tough. It'll be tough. Let's start with this one. We may, we may do an expansion project in the future. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll run from about there. Okay, and then what we'll do is we will start to drop it. Okay, so let's look at something like that. And now, this one, pretty tight. Okay, and we'll do that. A bit of a straight over there. Um, maybe that's a little too straight, considering where we're heading. Uh, okay, up to about there. Uh, that's a little bit too much. So let's. There we go. Something like that. So now we've actually got a rail connection all the way out there. Uh, that's a little bit steep in most cases. We just need to tweak uh, what's going on over here a little bit. So I'm keen on trying to Trying to get that to look fairly natural. <laughs> that step down looks crazy. We, uh, can we uh, just get that? Jeez, that's that's weird. Uh, let's uh, try bring this one. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, so that's about the rail connection, and that's funny, man. That's crazy. Anyway, so now we've got a rail connection out there also. So now all we need to do understand is what we're doing with the rest of this. <coughs> with this area because it's going to be extremely difficult to do anything in here now. Uh, given the, the rail situation that we've got going on over here. So we'll have to bridge things and all kinds of funny, funny business. But we could, you know what we could do? is we could actually run a little bit of a service road over here to feed it. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, but we will do that in the next episode. So this episode has been the, the construction of the uh, new airport. And I do think it looks pretty good. And the next one will we'll finish off this area uh, in here with a bit of access through via service road over here, I think. Yes, I think that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of service road over here um, that we can uh, allow some construction of buildings and the likes over here. And we need to understand what we're going to put in there. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked it, hit that button and leave some comments down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you. Bye-bye.